Hi, today I'm going to show the updated version of the uh, the blind stick with the LDI sensor. So this is the code which I have done. First, I'll explain the code, and then I'll uh, show the physically the thing which I have done. So first, I have imported two libraries as usual, and I have defined all the uh, uh, components which I'm using. It's the trigger, echo, buzzer, sensor, and LED, and we have uh, given the respective. Uh, code uh, pins and uh, here we have while used while to be as it uh, repeats again and again and the process will go like this trigger first it gets off then the u time sleeps for like uh, two seconds it stops it won't do anything then again trigger gets on and then again it waits uh, like it does not do anything for five seconds and then it get, uh, again offs so this is the code full so when the echo value is equal to zero then it will do this thing that is it will uh, send so the it will calculate in this uh, sense so send is equals to if it's like less than uh, zero means it's just sending it is not just receiving so here if it's zero that means send is equals to u time dot text dot r and if the value is one that means it is receiving so the value will change as receiving is received is, is equals to u time dot text dot s so now we have done that duration of the uh, the thing that's the uh, uh, vibration it's calculated as the uh, so the duration is calculated as the uh, received minus sent so this is the duration how it's calculated then the distance is uh, calculated as this duration into 0.0343 by 2 this is nothing but the 0.0343 is nothing but the uh, uh, speed of sound and we are doing by 2 because it's calculating both sending and receiving so we are doing so we need only the received like uh, how much distance so we are uh, uh, like dividing it by 2 and then if the distance is uh, less than 100 then it will do this process that it is print it will print that there is an object ahead and uh, the distance of the object will be equals to and it will print the distance and it will show centimeter and the buzzer will also get on if it is not coming like if the print uh, uh, like if the distance is more uh, more than 100 then it will do this it will print as good to go and the pr uh, and it will also print that the distance of the object is and uh, distance is equal to and the centimeters and here the buzzer will be off so that uh, we can move and the u then it will like sleep for f uh, 0 0.5 seconds and then it will uh, print as value is equal to so this is uh, this uh, from this u time this code is nothing but the code of the ldr so here uh, it waits for 0 0.5 seconds and the value will be counted as uh, sensor that's the ldr dot read u16 and the value 1 is nothing but value into 3.3 .3 by 65536 so when we calculate this value we get this we put an hashtag so that this uh, this command doesn't work next it will uh, print the value and then it will print with the symbol v and if the value is like value one is like uh, uh, more than 2.1 volt then the led will be on and if the uh, if the value is not uh, that high and it's like less than 2.1 then the led will be off so this is uh, this is uh, mainly for uh, blind people so in the during night if uh, the opponent vehicle uh, can't see so we are using an led so that's uh, why this command comes if values this thing so if the value is uh, less or uh, more than 2.1 then the led will be on so this is uh, for that uh, purpose so now i have i'll show you the uh, physical uh, connections so the required materials are an uh, breadboard USB cable, uh, then one uh, one uh, male and female wire, and then uh, 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 this uh, sensor that's ultrasonic sensor, an LED uh, buzzer, uh, LDR sensor, and then a uh, resistor, 
and the breadboard and the raspberry pi pico so now first i'll show you the connections first i have connected the raspberry pi pico to the to the uh, breadboard and then i have connected the uh, then i have connected the just a minute so then i have connected the L, uh, led to the 16th pin that's over here the last pin from here and then i have connected the uh, wire to the uh, last third pin and connected to the negative so that this whole rail becomes negative after that i have connected one uh, resistor over here to the fifth uh, pin that's uh, nothing but the power pin power uh, pin and i have connected to the ninth one and i have taken the taken the uh, ldr and i have connected to the ninth pin and i have connected to the negative so this whole rail is negative so i have connected this and next in this side in the left side of the breadboard i have connected the uh, uh, buzzer to the last uh, that's 15th pin in the left side now i have taken one wire from the third pin that uh, again for the negative so this when i connected here this whole rail becomes negative so the negative of the buzzer will be in this one in the negative and the uh, uh, then i have connected the uh, this ultrasonic sensor the so here you can see i have connected some uh, color wires just so here uh so here i have uh, taken a ultrasonic sensor and i have connected the blue wire to the vcc pin then i have uh, connected the green for the trigger and uh, Uh, yellow for the echo and the orange for the ground so the vcc i have connected to the first rail over here then the uh, green pin that's uh, the trigger i have connected to the first pin in the right side that's uh, gp1 and the yellow that's echo i have connected to gp2 and the ground that's orange color i have connected to the ground over here so over here i have connected to the ground so this is the connection of the uh, this uh, this uh, components so this is the circuit of it so now i'll execute and i'll show you first i'll show in my laptop what happens then i'll show the physical one so here uh, so here when i uh, Here, when I click on Run, the distance of the object is like uh, uh, for one forty one one forty, so it's very very high. So the buzzer is not coming. So when I keep my hand, the distance is very less, and the, you can hear the buzzer sound. so they are telling that object is ahead when i take my hand it's telling good to go and you can also notice one more thing that the volt is like uh, 0.4 0.4 uh, something so it stays from 0.4 to 0.5 so that means uh, th we have coded that if the uh, volt is like higher than 2.1 then the led will glow but the volt is very less it's just 0.4 to 0.5 so when i keep my hand in the ldr sensor the volt will become uh, more higher that's like more than 2 so now i'm going to keep now you can see the uh, volt like 2 uh, 2 uh, only so 2.2 2.2 like that so that's the reason it's more than uh, 2.1 so the led is glowing and show you that So now I I show the uh, laptop one. I'll show the physical one. So here, there's it's just calculating the roof. The the L, uh, ultrasonic sensor is calculating the roof. So the uh, buzzer is also not glowing. So when I keep my hand, buzzer is glowing. When I take my hand, it's not glowing. Keeping, it's glowing. When I take, it does not. So now I'll show you the uh, thing for the LDR sensor. 
so here uh, when i keep my hand on the ldr sensor the volt increases so i'm keeping so the led is glowing when i take it goes and i keep so this is the process so when i off the light you will be very uh, visible so i'll show you way i'll off the light and i'll show you so here i uh, now the light is on so the ldr sensor is less when i off the light the uh, light glows when i on the light it uh, stops glowing off on again and when i off it it again so uh, off and when i on it on so this is the process of the uh, uh, the uh, updated version of the uh, updated version of the ultrasonic sensor of the blind stick thank you